Polio, the once feared virus, is now being used for good. Scientists at Duke University Medical Center have engineered a polio virus to attack brain tumors and hopefully cure them. Here to help explain exactly how this works is Justin Kaba, reporter for the Medical Daily. Justin, in very layman's terms, lay us out how injecting polio into a brain tumor somehow turns an incurable tumor into something people can live with. Uh, well, Leland, what these uh, researchers are doing, they've actually re-engineered the polio virus. Now, in saying that, what they've done is they've removed a uh, genetic sequence and replaced it with a virus responsible for the common cold. Now, uh, now this new virus is capable of replicating within cancer cells, and as they replicate, they uh, actually corrupt the cell. And all cancer is so notorious to treat because uh, it all comes equipped with a protective barrier that basically hides it from the immune system. Uh, what this new polio virus, which is now a vaccine, is uh, coming in and lifting that barrier and uh, basically saying the immune system to come in and attack. And when you first think about the idea of injecting someone who's already sick with polio, you think, well, wouldn't that give them polio? But it seems as though the researchers have been able to make it so that to the rest of the body, the polio is benign, right? Yes. Well, uh, by removing that genetic sequence, what they've done is they've obviously, the cancer cell, the uh, polio virus is allowed to replicate within the cancer cell. However, with that little piece that they removed, in normal cell, it's incapable of replicating, which uh, would cause the uh, various symptoms related to polio. And I remember hearing about the, the Duke study that this is happening in. The first couple of patients were sort of on death's door, and they've made a miraculous recovery. No one thought it was possible. And now all of a sudden you can see the brain scans that we have. On the left side, obviously, is where the brain tumor was. The right side is where the brain tumor was. Right side, it is now gone. It's incredible technology that's been able to happen here. Is there any risks here? Have they been able to figure this out and, and actually try and help and, and help folks in a broader scale, or is this st still phase one? They're currently in a clinical trials phase one. Uh, however, they're treating some patients with glioblastoma, which is the most common and uh, deadly of all brain tumors. And what they have is uh, currently four patients in remission, which uh, for this deadly form of cancer, it's, uh, as you said, it's, it's nothing short of miraculous. And uh, as far as any problems they've run into, what they're trying to do is hammer out dosage, which is uh, all too important in any immunotherapy. Uh, too much of a dose with this can lead to an overreaction from the immune system. And Justin, real quickly, is there any thought that this is going to be able to work on other types of cancer? Obviously, brain, brain tumors, glioblastoma has been very difficult to treat, but things like lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, some of those other really difficult, tough cancers? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, what they, they, the trials have only been focused on glioblastoma. However, they're in the middle of experimental phase of other forms of cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer, pretty much any cancer. Uh, because with the polio virus, what they found is a key receptor that actually uh, attaches itself to the, the solid tumor. And uh, the, with the polio virus, it's actually able to come in and uh, start fighting those cancerous cells. Incredible. Offering a lot of hope to folks who up until now didn't have much. Justin Cabo, really appreciate your time and breaking this down as well from New York. Thanks. Thank you very much.